Hey guys, I'm picking up again on the Admiral T-102 cabinet painting project. I left off, I think, where I had just primered this cabinet. Since then, I've put on a few coats of white paint on the top and the top portion of the sides, and that's set up for a few days. So now for the fun part, I need to carefully mask off part of this and paint the rest orange with uh, this paint and that part that should be orange is just below this line so I'm going to carefully lay tape along here extend it out in the front too so everything from this below this line will be orange um, I'll, I'll, I also think it'd be a good idea for me to mask off the inside so I'm going to be painting the bottom too and the paint can very well travel through these vent holes and hit the back side of the top or the sides and it might bleed through a little bit in these vent holes so I'm going to mask off not only the entire top side but the bottom side as well and then uh, give it a few coats and uh, keep my fingers crossed that the masking job works out well I've carefully masked off all the areas that I want to stay white flip the set over because the bottom part's going to be orange got my paint well shook up and now I'm ready to start painting it steady even strokes like uh, 10 to 14 inches so okay. so just do several light passes like that wait a few minutes between each coat and then do the next coat and uh, hopefully this will turn out fine I think that came out all right. I'll let this set up for a couple hours and I'll peel off the tape to see for sure. Then let this set up for, it says at least 24 hours and then do a clear coat. I was able to touch up a couple areas where a little bit of the orange had bled through and I sanded down all the surfaces a little bit, make it nice and smooth. And uh, I took some compressed air, blow off as much dust as possible. And now I'm going to clear coat it with again that engine enamel and clear. Now I want to clear coat pretty much all the surfaces, but it's a little hard to do because it's always going to be rusting on some side. So I think what I'll do is I'll clear coat the bottom first, let that dry a bit, and then do the other surfaces because of course the bottom is not going to be visible. But I do want to get some clear coat on it, uh, just to make it a little bit uh, more durable finish. Alright, after much cursing and wet sanding and spraying and wet sanding and spraying, I finally got this done enough that uh, I'll call it done. I know where there's still a few minor imperfections, but I don't think anybody else would ever notice or care. And overall, I, I am quite happy with the way this turned out. It's certainly much better than the way it was. So all the rust is gone, and I've got a nice coat of slightly off-white on top, and that nice Chevy engine red-orange on the front and the sides, and then a few coats of uh, clear coat to protect it. I've temporarily reassembled it to to uh, get an idea of how it will look once it's done but of course I haven't put the chassis back inside before I do that I want to do a little more tweaking on it including an alignment and I will do that in a separate video coming up real soon